Hi. Welcome to Crucible Burgers and Fries. How may I serve you? No, we don't have french fries. No, we don't have burgers. No, you can't get that. You're too fat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Standing here with our site, 9940, the Crucible Quartermaster, because we're going to do a Legendary Max video today on the Antipodal Hindsight. It's the auto rifle from the Crucible. So if you go to the Crucible Vanguard and you see this gun, I have a different version than the one he's selling. Mine has some different stats, but you can buy this one from the vendor. Uh, it's got decent stats. The, the thing to, to note is it's a really high impact auto rifle with a pretty good rate of fire. The mag size is a little small though, but let's take a look at my anti portal hindsight. We will take a look at it, talk about it, look at the talents I have on mine, look at the stats. Then we'll go to uh, some PvE gameplay I'll do in the daily mission so you can see how it performs against high level enemies. And then we will go to the daily PvP, which was Rumble today. Um, so stay tuned for that at the end of the video. But first, let's take a look at the anti portal hindsight. This is the Crucible uh, auto rifle. Take a look at it without the shot. Um, it's a pretty cool looking gun, gotta say. Uh, I like it. Now, I'm becoming a very big fan of auto rifles in the Taken King. I've been really surprised how well they perform in PvE and PvP. So, we're going to take a look at the anti portal hindsight talk about it. It says, nope, still don't see it. Uh, not, not sure what that means, but <laughs> uh, I'll take it. So, like I said, it's a mid-rate of fire, high impact auto rifle. The range is really, really high because that's uh, being affected by some of the talents I have on my anti portal hindsight. So if we keep looking at it, we see that it is kinetic. It is infusible. Mine came at 284. I haven't had to infuse it yet. I've been using it just in PvP or some dailies. Uh, nothing that really needs any higher light on it. So it has the red dot ORA sight, the, which I'm not a big fan of. Then the red dot ORA 2 sight, which is okay. I noticed when I tried to use this in PvP, though, at the, at the beginning, it looked like the sight had dust all over it, and it really bugged me. So I quit using it. The one I usually use is the OEG Rifle Scope because that increases my range. And uh, I actually like it for this gun, this low rate of fire auto rifle, because you can use it more like a Pulse or a Scout because of the range stats I've got due to my talents. So the Rifle Scope, it doesn't zoom in too much, but it gives you that boost to range, which range actually affects everything. It, it, range affects target acquisition, range affects damage fall off, range affects, um, what's the other one? one more but it affects all these things so you want your range stat basically as high as you can get it on a primary <clears throat> so that's what i did on this one so the talents on mine are hip fire fitted stock injection mold rifled barrel and glass half full the glass half full perk is really cool too now i, I know it's got some stability perks and it is an auto rifle so you would think i'd want stability but i maxed out the range i didn't miss any of the still stability perks i really didn't change anything while i was playing it in the daily missions um, I changed the sight a couple times, but really kind of settled on the rifle scope fairly quickly. There wasn't a, a whole lot of indecision there. So the anti portal hindsight proved pretty strong. Um, I liked it. So looking at planetdestiny.com, we can look at the secondary stats. The aim assistance is actually 45. The equip speed is 54. Recoil direction is 70. The zoom is 15. So it's got low zoom. Uh, the aim assist at 45 is not very high. So. Rate of fire is 77, impact 20 at range is 32, stability is 54, and reload is 62. These are the base stats. So mine is going to have different stats because of my modifiers on it, but those are the base stats of the any portal hindsight. I will say the equip speed is probably a little bit above average. The aim assist is not very high, but on a primary aim assist doesn't do a whole lot. But the hip fire is pretty cool. I didn't find myself using that very much because it is a low rate of fire auto rifle. I mainly aim down sights on it or ads and I, I used it more like a scout rifle, more like a pulse rifle, because I could get that range out of it. I noticed I was shooting uh, for PV, PVE performance. Uh, we did the daily mission that's on the Cosmo Drone where you have to go kill the witches. And I noticed I was aiming down sights and shooting things from scout rifle range or pulse rifle range. I was not hitting things from auto rifle range that, like I normally would with an auto rifle. Because I'm used to playing with the high rate of fire auto rifles, which is what I've been doing lately. So going to this with the low rate of fire kind of style auto rifle was very very interesting 
And I used it differently than I would use a normal auto rifle. Normal auto rifle, I would just walk up to a group of enemies and spray them in the face. This one, I was playing way back. Stuff would get in all in all in front of my reticle, and I would wait for it to clear, focus on a head, and shoot it. So I wouldn't I wouldn't use this like a, a spray and spray spray and pray auto rifle. I would use it like a, a scout rifle, and it worked out really well. I, I do have to say the mag size is a little lacking. I wish it had like 32, 36 in the mag. That would make this gun amazing. So, for bosses, it wasn't as effective. I used my sword on the high-level enemies, but that's that's any auto rifle you're going to do that with. So I think this one performed very admirably, and I liked how it how it uh, how it felt. Um, is it a fun gun in PVE? Ooh, it's right on the edge. I don't know if it is or isn't. It felt okay to me. It wasn't my favorite. Like I have the other one that he's selling, the Deal Breaker. I have the Deal Breaker, and that is a fun gun in PVE and PvP. I really like the Deal Breaker. It wasn't quite there. It wasn't quite there with the deal breaker. I don't know if it was just the sound or what, because the stats are pretty much the same. The performance is very similar. So, I, I liked it. Now, PvP, another gun that surprised me. I was like, this could, auto rifles are usually a PvE gun, but I'm beginning to understand that auto rifles are very good in PvP. Very good. Now, I went into Rumble, and I'm not a Rumble guy. I'm not usually... I don't, I don't choose it out of choice. It was the daily, uh, the daily Crucible, so that's what I did. I did Rumble. And I was very surprised. I really enjoyed it. I won the match by a pretty good margin. I think three or four hundred points. And uh, you know, the Hammer Titan helped a little bit, and I got heavy ammo twice, which helped. But the 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 hindsight, once I got used to the clip size, I knew how long I was going to go, and my rifle sight really helped me because it shows on the edges, it starts turning yellow when you're getting towards the bottom of the clip, so I didn't have to look at my counter. I could stay ADS and just watch the guy. And so I could. It's one of those guns where. You start to be able to feel when you're about to run out of bullets, and you're going to feel when you're about to kill a guy. So it was very easy to get on target, very easy to keep on the head. If you're a very good PvP player with some good uh, aiming, you're going to do well with this gun if you like auto rifles. So I really enjoyed it in PvP. It gets my fun gun in PvP. Uh, PvE almost there. So any Poto Hindsight, if you're looking for a high impact auto rifle, this is a definite consideration depending on the talents. Now, will Glass have full? really good I wish I had something besides hip fire I wish I had mm, I don't know what something else right there instead of hip fire because I don't, I'm not using the hip fire but it was still cool but glass half full definitely saved me a couple times in rumble um, so I really enjoyed this gun so what do you guys think about the antipodal hindsight do you have one have you used it what perks do you have on yours what other auto rifles do you think are really really good uh, leave me some comments leave me some feedback and as always if you like the video let me know hit the like button uh, if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. That's what it's there for. Anyway, guys, I'm going to dance it out. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate the views. I say it every time, and I mean it every time. Until next time, I'm Death Brother, and I'll see you later. See you. Bye.